Hey guys, this is Alala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia Memories. So, let's jump back in. What was with him? <clears throat> I don't get it at all. I wonder if he knows things about you that we don't know yet. <clears throat> Whoa, but at least if he thinks you don't remember him, you don't have to try to hide your amnesia from him. Oh my gosh, mouse. He seems to know you. If things go well, you might be able to get some information out of him. Yeah, he is kind of weird, but you should try talking to him if the two of you ever meet again. Elizabeth, what's wrong? Are you alright? It looked like you were just talking to a customer just now. What happened? Oh, Iki. Right. Maybe you should talk to Iki about what that guy said. What's the matter? Did he say something weird to you? He told me to watch out for resentful people. Who was that guy? I want to go ask him some questions. Wait, you're going to go ask? You're working! He really went! Well, at least he's a guy who can act when he thinks his girlfriend is in danger. Who I see. Ten minutes later. Well, I went to go talk to him. He kept dodging the point, but at least he seems to be genuinely worried about you. Anyway, I'll keep an eye out. Make sure you don't go walking around by yourself at night, either. If anything happens, call me. It doesn't matter what time it is. At the very least, you shouldn't try to rely on him. Just because he warned you first doesn't change the fact that I'm your boyfriend here. Uh-huh, Iki. <laughs> Whew, work went by pretty smoothly, except for that mysterious guy this morning. Let's see, according to your notebook, tomorrow is one of your rare days off from work. I wonder if Iki is off too. You might want to check and see if he has any plans. Anyway, you should wait in the usual place after you get dressed. Hey there, do you have some time now? If so, I want to go watch a movie on the uh, on the way home. I feel bad about yesterday, I want to make up for it. And the other day, you were saying we should do something together. Did you really say you should go and do, or go and do something together? Maybe when you saw the last movie. I guess he really is devoted to remember little details like these. Anyway, let's go home together. Wait around somewhere after you change. I'll call you. He'll call you? I've got a feeling this will get interrupted. Or am I thinking too much about it? No, you're not. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Oh, hi! Iki! Wow, that was fast! I'm done. I made you wait a while today, so I tried to make... Uh, yeah, I, so I tried to make it quick. Sorry, but could you come back to the front of the cafe? It's closer to the theater. This is record time for sure! Maybe he really does feel sorry about yesterday. Alright, let's hurry back. Elizabeth, over here. Ah, uh, it's been a while since we went on a date uninterrupted. What do you want to see? I usually end up picking things I'm interested in. You should choose today. Although, I can already already guess what you're going to pick. Huh, you don't by chance remember what kind of movies you like, do you? Well, I guess you can just pick anything. If he's surprised, just tell him that's just how you feel today. Um, we're gonna go see... Passionate Affair, but oh my god, these other movie choices though, Dead Man's War, Matilda's Melancholy, <laughs> Matilda, all I'm thinking of is like, you know, Matilda, the witch, or the magic, yeah, the one that can use magic, you know, <laughs> that's all I can think of, anyways, yes, we are gonna go watch A Passionate Affair. Hmm. 
You want to watch that? It should be obvious from the title, but it's full of sex scenes. I see. I'm sorry for judging you too soon. I thought you didn't like these kinds of movies. Well, not exactly dislike. More like I thought you were wary about watching these things with me. Alright. From now on, I'll make my decision after asking you first. But don't complain if anything happens when the lights go out. The place will be filled with couples anyway. Ooh. Icky. Don't you, don't you do it. <laughs> hmm. It's pretty crowded. Well, I guess it is summer break. But nobody should notice if we do something off in a corner. What should we do? Well, oh, excuse me, guys. What do you want me to do to you? Uh-oh, there's that nervous look. Hmm, maybe less nervousness and more embarrassment. It's just so fun to watch. It makes me want to tease you more. Don't worry, we'll just hold hands. Or would you not like that either? No, I wouldn't dislike it. Alright then, let's hold hands. Put your arm on the armrest. Ah! I'll have to punish you if you get too embarrassed and let go before the movie ends. Hmm, I feel like this is the first time we've done something a couple would do since we started going out. I'd be really happy if you were always this straightforward. I guess that's impossible. I'll just be happy that we get to do this for now. I'll get to hold your hand or hold hands with you for the next two hours at least. Aww. That's seriously really cute. I'm gr uh, whoops, I'm glad we could relax and have some fun today. Did it make up for yesterday? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh wait, you have the day off. Then I'll see you the day after. Yeah, sorry, but I have plans tomorrow, so I might be out of contact. But try to call me if something happens. I'll see you later, okay? Good night. You know, today, you really did seem like his girlfriend. Oh my goodness, Mouse. No, I'm sure that's how you'd always be normally. And we still need to try to take back those normal days. Today sure was tiring. But tomorrow is a day off, finally! You don't have any plans with Iki, so maybe you can just relax. Oh, is that... Oh, it's that unknown number. And here comes the creepy music! Whoa, the phone's ringing. It's from an unknown number. We might get hit with some unpleasant memories. No, no, you blocked calls from that number. And some of the people you know might still not be recorded in this phone yet. Wanna answer it? Hey, it's me. Do you have a minute? Oh, this voice. We've heard it before. Uh, yes. I'm free. About our plans tomorrow. Want to meet at the station around noon? We should have lunch first and then go browse some stores. Who? Oh, okay, never mind. Who I no doubt saw her. Then wait, tomorrow? You didn't have any plans with Iki, but it looks like you had some Asawa. It's good she called you. This could have been bad. Good job, Sawa. Was there something you wanted? I'm sure we can rent balls and stuff over there. Let's see, what else? Maybe I should get some travel-sized or travel-sized bottle of moisturizer. I wonder if there'll be at least one decent guy there. Maybe I should buy some cute clothes too. W wait up. Don't get so ahead of things. Uh, so I guess that means you're preparing or you're meeting tomorrow to prepare for a trip. Or maybe it's the lodge trip people were talking about. She said you can rent balls and stuff over there. That means some sort of club that uses balls. But 
that's everything! <laughs> I wonder what kind of club it is. Tennis? Golf? Don't tell me it's something like croquet. What's wrong? Why are you being so quiet? Uh oh, we took too long. Is there something you need? I could let you borrow it if I have it. Hmm, I don't know. We don't even know what kind of trip it is. Uh, I think I'm okay for now. Okay then, I'll see you tomorrow. Whew, that was surprising. But this should take care of the questions about the trip. At or at the very least, we'll get a better idea about why you're going. Well, excuse me. It's a little nerve-wracking, but you should be able to ask Sawa about a lot of stuff. Oh, and you also need to ask the d or more details about that rumor, and also about your daily life. Alright then, let's prepare for tomorrow and get to sleep early. Oh my god, it's Sawa! August 12th. Hey, over here! You look like you're doing well. Oh my goodness, Mouse. It's been a while since I've seen you wearing regular clothes. Summer break seems really long once you get to college. But thanks to that, I was able to take a ton of trips this summer. I thought it would be so hot, so I booked a lot of trips in the mountains and the ocean, but everywhere was so cold. The Billiards Association trip will be at a lodge in Shinano, too. That sounds cold. And today is super cold, too, isn't it? Seriously, is it winter already? It kind of seems like it'll rain, so we should get this done quick. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you know, it's really nice that Sawa keeps talking, even if you don't say anything, but, um... This is too much information, and you can't even get a word in edgewise. <laughs> well, let's see. So the lodge trip is going to be with the Billiards Association. That's good. Now we finally know what the purpose of the trip is. It sounds like you won't need to prepare any sort of special equipment. You should be fine with just your regular travel things. But still... Yiki plays billiards, huh? I can already hear the girl screaming bloody murder. And as his girlfriend, you'll probably get treated like an obstacle again. Wow, that's scary. It's kind of unfortunate, but I don't think you'll just... Or you'll get to just relax and have fun while you're there. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Let's see, what should we do? Maybe we should have something to eat before shopping. Or would you rather shop until we're tired and then rest while eating? Hmm, what should you do? Getting ready for the trip is important, but the main goal today is to get information from Sawa. Oh, well, buying things for the trip was just an excuse to spend time with you anyway. You've got work pretty much every day, and you usually go on dates with Iki on your days off. You've got no time to play around. I guess this is just what happens to friends when one of them gets a boyfriend. Actually, hold up. <laughs> I'm going to say something right here, because I've had problems with this, this whole situation uh, with friends before, and... It's pretty bullshit. Like, no. Just because you have a boyfriend does not mean that you should blow off all of your other friends. That is bullshit. Because if you start treating your friends like shit just because you have a boyfriend, then you're going to lose those friends. And your friends are the ones that were there for you from, or for like your worst times. And they stood by you. 
those are the people that are going to keep standing by you. And this boyfriend or whatever, they could easily just up and leave. Because, you know, it's just a boyfriend. <laughs> and your boyfriend you probably hadn't known as long as your friends, and you and your boyfriend probably hadn't gone through the same or even similar kind of stuff that you and your friends have gone through your whole life, or like however many years that you've known them. It's like your friends are always going to be there for you. Do not blow them off just because you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It does not matter. Those are the people that are going to stay with you. So uh, you need to make uh, time for your friends while you're dating somebody. Otherwise, that is just bullshit. And they're going to see right through it for you treating them like, a sh like shit. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Well, actually, no. One more point. So that is not normal. That is not a normal thing that should happen. And if their boyfriend or their girlfriend is like, Oh yeah, I guess that's normal for like friends to blow off their other friends when they get a boyfriend or girlfriend. That person is a shit person. And yeah, no. <laughs> no, just no. Anyways... Huh, and I'm sure, er, and I'm sure you'll be spending your time at the lodge with Iki too. It's actually more likely that other girls will be taking up Iki's time. I don't know who the members of at the other school are, but I wonder if there are any cute, cool guys. What do you think? Okay, hold. Up. All right, here we go. So, how many people were going on this trip? Uh, let's see, how many people were coming again? Our club has three people, right? But I don't recall exactly how many people were in the club at Iki School. I get the feeling that it was something like 14 or 15 people. So that would make it 17 or 18 in total. A pretty big group, right? But excluding us, most of them are probably going to be Iki fans. <laughs> you might want to prepare. <clears throat> you might want to prepare yourself. Ooh, this is a seriously bad situation we're in. Yeah, no shit, Orion. Speaking of Iki fans. Could you tell me, why did you want to go out with such an obvious playboy? Uh, that's actually something we'd like to ask you! To be honest, I still can't believe it. Didn't you totally dislike him at first? During the summer of your second year of high school, you told me, the worst excuse for a human being works with me. Wait, really? This is new information! But after you finished your college entrance, uh, entrance exams and started going to work again, you suddenly joined his fan club. His... his fan club? Elizabeth, you joined Nikki's fan club? Seriously? Why? Were you one of those girls screaming, Guy, it's Nikki every time you walked by? And before I could even process that, you told me the two of you had started dating! It was a real shock. You were always smiling about it, but you never told me any of the details. So what's going on? Are you seriously in love, or is it just his eyes? Or is it, or, or if it's neither of those, are you going out with him for some other reason? I'm worried. If you have a reason, you could tell me. So what's going on? Do you really like him, or is there something else? What should we do? What can you say to not make her suspicious? I can't say more than I said before. You shouldn't say that. Hmm, you know... You said before, Iki has never gone or gone out with a girl for more than three months. 
He's super nice and caring and attentive for three months. And then after that, he breaks up with the girl like nothing even happened. Isn't the, er, isn't the end of this month exactly three months since you started going out with Iki? You have less than a month left. Is that okay? Is he going to suddenly throw you away just like every other girl? Wait, so the end of this month is exactly three months? So could the one month left thing Iki mentioned at the beginning of August be... We only have one month left, but I've got to build up trust with you from square one. I've never had such a challenge in my life. You have less than a month left. I'm starting to think it's about time. Oh, what's wrong? Why do you look surprised? Don't tell me you forgot that the three months are almost over. Didn't you tell me yourself that the key is after or that the key is after the three months are up? Whoa, so many memories. <laughs> but that is all the time that I have for this episode. So, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!